Where did the bees go? What's going on, everybody? It's me, Super Best I Explain Bros. Here today, we're going to be taking a look at this Godzilla vs. Kong figure. This is Godzilla with Heat Ray, and uh, I found this at Walmart when I was on my little vacation thing. I'm actually having an entire video of me finding Godzilla vs. Kong stuff and Funko Pops and all that. Here's the packaging. It's very simple packaging. It's just like uh, Kong's packaging, which for some reason I still have. And the only difference here is on the back with different arts but i thought it looked really good so let's actually open this up and let's take a look at the actual figure all right now he is out of the packaging i somewhat destroyed the packaging so hopefully i don't need to redo this but yeah here is uh godzilla and i really actually i forgot to put the scissors away i really like the way it looked a lot of people are saying that this is a ripoff of the NECA one which i could say it isn't i'm the first person to say that yes they have ripped off NECA but this is not a NECA ripoff. I'm assuming they both used the actual CGI model because I believe both have actually got the CGI model so they could design the figure. I know NECA did but I'm not sure about Playmates. They probably did. Now for accessories this does come with an atomic breath piece which looks really really nice and also it comes with the uh, battle damaged piece which I gotta figure out. I got, I, got, I got stuff all over. Hold on. And right here is where the actual piece is. Now what we're gonna do is that we are going to remove this, which it's like that. I don't prefer this. I don't think it's actually a nice thing. And it's sculpted really nice. On the inside, there's some red. That That's it. There's just, just red. I, uh, I don't know. Uh, I would have liked to see some better detail, but then again, it's a $10 figure. What do you expect? And it's actually kind of difficult to get this back in. And it also doesn't really align too well. Uh, so... Yeah, that's a situation. All right, well, I got it. I got it somewhat. It, it's still not good, but it works. And to put in the atomic breath piece, there is a bit of a ball joint on the front, if it would focus. So what you just really need to do is that you need to slip it in like that. And it looks actually pretty good. I like the way that looks. It, it stays on there somewhat for the actual sculpt of the figure it looks really well done like i said it's amazing uh, i love how they use this translucent blue for the dorsal fins or dorsal plates whatever you want to call them and i just think they look really good and if we get a light right here look at that that looks awesome and yeah there's also not that much other paint detail other than on the face right there there are some blue eyes and some teeth which look all right and also a somewhat of a tongue and also there's all this painting or dry brushing here and other than that that's all the paint detail and for articulation actually. there's a bit more than i expected the head is on a swivel the jaw does not never mind it moves up i was about to say it doesn't move up because i couldn't get it to move up but nope it moves uh the arms can move up and down and for the legs it moves up and down there's no side to sign and surprisingly the tail is on a ball joint so it can somewhat look good there instead of just a swivel, which makes it look somewhat weird. But with a ball joint, you could make it look really good. Uh, but for some size comparison, here it is next to 6-inch Kong, which, little update, I did fix the eyes. And here it is next to 6-inch Kong, and Kong is smaller than Godzilla. And here it is next to NECA 1989 Godzilla. This one's definitely smaller than this one, but I just love the way this one looks compared to this one, obviously, because this is NECA. This is Playmates. It's it's kind of already known that this will be the better figure. And the final comparison is with NECA 2019 Godzilla. Now, I do think this is a good figure, but I do actually have quite a lot of problems with it. But comparing the two, they're not ripoffs. So stop saying they're ripoffs. So overall, this is indeed a fantastic figure for $10. It It is really well done. Uh, granted, the painting is somewhat lacking. There is some really nice paint on the figure, but I would have liked to see more. But other than that, it's a completely fine sculpt. The only complaints I have is the paint, obviously, as well as the battle damage. I don't like that. I don't, I'm not a fan of the battle damage thing. But other than that, for the $10 price point, it is a really solid figure. And that's all I got for you guys today. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, as it does help the channel, and I will see you guys later.
Bye. Last comparison is uh, here it is next to uh, Spyro from Skyland.